No, right. Testing. <laughs> okay, we want to mute that. Because we can. Good morning again, friends, Romans, countrymen. It's the second half of the Silent Hill 1 video I'm editing, uh, in depth with um, references and such. Recording this on my birthday because I have such an exciting life. Um, do I have a hat? Hold on. It's for the dogs, so I don't know. It does not fit my big fat head, but here's my party hat. Mira can wear it. Here. So at this point, we are running through Central, Central Silent Hill, yes, and we're back to the police station, and I really hate those, those dudes. Hmm. I found my alien toy, but we're not getting the alien en ending, because it's the first playthrough, and I got coffee, and... These are my snacks. It is um, three colored coffee beans covered in chocolate. This is going to be our Silent Hill birthday snacks. Let's check out Konami Burger again. Spelled wrong this time. Okay, we're heading towards the hospital. Oh. Wormhead dogs this time. Bad doggos. I'm gonna go talk to Lisa again, I think. We can save there if we want. I'm getting Etsy orders ready to go. Also, yep. the rest of these Alcamilla Hospital lanyards. I use one for my camera when I'm like roaming around with it. You can also check out our creepy and weird podcast. Me and the BFF Jamie do this on YouTube, and we got to be getting back into that. Also, she is a bartender, so we were talking about making a Silent Hill-inspired drink. So, maybe I will do that. Shortly. But first, the Moth Boss. Get the, the rifle out. I like to run up to the top of this other... This other level of the roof. Just because you can. But yeah. Uh, pending our podcast. There you go. So I find this, found this um, eyeshadow palette that resembles Maria's skirt. 
on Amazon, so so I enjoyed that. Except it's a lot of pink colors. So I won't use you know a lot of it, but but I like the design anyway. I got my various, um, esoterica here. Items for unlocking doors. And my health drinks. Also, I will introduce you all to um, this is Yorick Secundus. I got uh, Yorick Tertius, who is a complete skeleton, plastic skeleton over there. He's wearing a Silent Hill shirt. I'll, I'll take a picture. It's a pain to move the camera over. <sighs> And we're making our way back toward uh, toward old Silent Hill now. And what was it? And Zach has asked about um, what are the the best uh, things to look into regarding Genesis Briar P. Orridge. And I have my psychic TV tattoo again. And I had mentioned. The, the psychic Bible, and then here is also the non-binary, which was an autobiography released uh, right before Jen's death in 2020, in March of 2020, so it's been three years now. And there's also, um, where are things? Sacred Intent, um, Genesis Briar Peorage, Conversations with Carl Abrahamson, 1986 through 2019. So that's also a good book of interviews. And I also have the uh, research sort of magazine thing. It's like William Burroughs and Throbbing Gristle. I have that around here also. And that was always a favorite uh, thing to just get out and read and such. I have, um, I have all of Burroughs' books, but I also have this Brian Geisen art book. And there's a lot of text in here. And that goes through his life and career, which is of a related interest. What else was I going to say? Oh, um, Genesis, um, did the Painful But Fabulous book around, I don't know, 20, you know, 23, 22 years ago or so. And I bought that when it came out. And but now it's like expensive on Amazon because it's out of print. But but that was a good one, also. When it comes to Genesis' um, life and work, well, some of which was was kind of hokey with the, you know, um, weird spellings and such. But.
I mean, I mean some of it was um, great also. I, I like the vagina dentata purse, and then there's just sort of um, an explanation of her life philosophy and such. And the water is broken in this. Oh my god. Is this the one where I get lost? Okay, it's locked. We have to go through a door to unbreak the water. <laughs> nope, that's not the way to go. We're gonna go into the office, get the key, and the map. Just random steps that go up and down there. I just like running into walls with Harry here. Oh, here's the office. Okay, there's a, a save notepad. Map, and then you have to remember to check this on the wall. And sometimes those guys come down from the ceiling and, and get you. This is not my favorite part of the game, by the way. I mean, the school and, and nowhere are, are some of my favorite parts of the game, but in the hospital, but, but this is not. Running around town is fun, too. What the hell are you doing, Harry? Do we know where we're going? I don't know where I'm going. I never do. Um, can I go in that hole? Okay, now we've used the sewer key. Great. Gold star for you, Harry. No, oh, stupid bugs. Oh, piss off, bugs. <laughs> okay, now we have a ladder. Another level. That medipack. We have some, yes. Oh, I see guys hanging from the ceiling. I don't like that at all. And this is the wrong way. Very much so. But now they're ganging up on me, so I guess I have to kill them. What's that weird thing? That's where we came from, the letter. Computer has been being upset with me. Eventually need to get a new one. Stupid bugs. Oh. Goodies. Prizes. We want those.
Okay, which way am I even going? Okay, forward. Also, to help with this guy in particular. It's locked. Hm. Well, that seems like some bullshit, Harry. They're always ganging up on you in here. It's not fair. Not a fan of the sewers. Also not a fan of the sewers in part three. But there you go anyway. Hmm. in the water. Could it be a sewer exit key? No, it could. Indeed. Now a bunch of these guys are gonna be gang up on me again. No, sons of bitches. Let's just get out of here. going on there. Okay. There's a locked door we're looking for. Get, get out of my way, buddy. Sometimes if they're, like, beating on you, you can't go through the door, and that's, like, a huge pain, too. We can save here if we wish to. That's great. Tersorium, Xylospongium, that the ancient Romans used to wipe their butts. I was gonna make a video on that oh, for my other channel. Pre toilet paper. Let's get some information though. Okay, resort area map. And then there's some, a building foundation with a bunch of prizes in it. Uh, goodies. Hmm. Health drinks and uh, medipacks and such. Great. I'm used to doing this with no flashlight on. So now I'm turned around and confused. We want to go to Annie's bar, which also showed up in uh, Shattered Memories. Which I enjoyed. It was a different take. I never had a Wii, I only had... I played it on PSP, and eventually got the PS2 version also. And we're running in circles. But the PS2 version has, like, bad ice in it, and some of the textures are weird. Let's see. Where are we going? Oh, I hate that guy. One beer and liquor. None for you, buddy. Hmm. Annie's bar, open daily. And they have pool. That's what Kaufman's playing now. With one of those claw finger dudes. Harry's gonna save him. Cause Harry's a good guy.
Coffin's kind of a jerk, but, you know, what can you do? So let's pick up his wallet. Maybe he has some money for, like, the cold drinks machine, the vending machines. Oh, I got a, I got a receipt and a motorcycle key. Funk tour. Buzz fizz. They're serving DX health drinks. Also, Mac Burger, which resembles McDonald's. But we're headed toward Indian Runner, which is behind, behind Danny's bar. Nice fountain. Well, it's night for a walk. Oh, there's the Indian runner sign. Hmm. Oh, there's a shopper. Let's see if you can remember the 0473 or something. Uh, Indian crafts and leather goods. FedEx boxes. I'm referring to FedEx. And that's most of it in here. You can open the safe if you get the key out of the drawer here. And then there's a reference to um, Psycho, um, Norman Bates, there's a Norman's Hotel. But let's check for the drugs. It's the PTV drugs. We'll take the health drink. Why not? Mm. Okay, Norman's Grand Opening, referring to uh, the Bates Hotel, as it were. So now, yes, we want to go to the what, Motel Hair Bay Inn, it's also called on here. Let's see if we can not get lost. I always get lost. There's a diner around here, too. And some boats. If you use the walkthrough walls, you can run around on the boats. Maybe I'll get a clip of that. Ah, oh, okay. We are here. Good. It's 0886. That was on the wall there. Enter. And there's a Farrah Fawcett like poster before we get the magnet. Well, let me read the article. No, it won't let me read it this time. I'm referring to the the PTV drugs. This is the motorcycle room, which has Kaufman's motorcycle. But I can't open it yet because I. Wait, the motorcycle key is in his room. So I have to go there. So let's. Uh, Let's gather up the goodies. 
first because we can't meet him yet. A nice TV and stereo. This is supposed to be the 80s, so there's also ashtrays. I'm just telling someone I remember going to the uh, the Camelot Music music store and KB Toys, you know, in, in the 80s with my dad and my dad smoking just like in the open areas between the stores because that was allowed, you know, butts all over the floor. What a crappy hotel room. And Harry's fat hands won't fit in here. So that's why he needs the magnet. I don't know who that guy is. It's too small to reach in. Let's use our magnet on a string. Suddenly Harry has to poop, so let's go into the bathroom. But there's no toilet. He's gonna have to squish it down the, the shower drain. Not cool. Not cool, Harry. You have to wait till Silent Hill 2 to, to get to the toilets. Can't hold it that long. But okay, now we can go back to the motorcycle room. And it's weird because the dust has been wiped away. What could be going on here? And Kaufman's like, what the hell are you doing? Quit messing around. What's this? What the glove is this? I thought I got rid of that. I was looking for glass bottles that look like that, but I haven't been able to find any. Right. I got my got my floor off, so Okay, now that we saved Kaufman, that, that gets us to... Is that the good ending or the plus ending? I, I never remember these things, but I was going for the good plus. So save Sybil and save Kaufman. Yeah, the docks are around here. Motel Hair Bay Inn. Some place with with the goodies here. There might be some goodies there. We should check. There's a, uh, it's a health drink. I needed that. Now we're gonna gonna go to the um the lighthouse. Look for Alesta. Something like that. What's this? Not again. No, this time it feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare, this is more like reality becoming a nightmare. I don't like this feeling. Something bad is going to happen. Oh, one of those guys again. I hate those guys. There's a things and stuff store around here somewhere. And then there's the sign for the amusement park. Dancing? 
No, uh, there's the things and stuff store, which I think is based on a real store. But let's keep going. Looks like a mural or something there. There's the, there's the sign. Lakeside Amusement Park. I got some Robbie magnets. At some point I had Cynthia's butt tattoo printed up as um, actual temporary tattoos. But I'm out of those now. Cynthia had a butt tattoo of Robbie with like a bones with bones and a bat crossed like cross, skull and crossbones type of thing in Silent Hill 4 oh, Wormhead dogs oh, we're going to the boat and meet up with Sybil again great A dead guy. Sybil. What's up, Harry? Alright. Get some bullets. And I'm shooting everything, so that's great. My health drink. It has to maintain his energy and stay hydrated. I really hate this part. It has all these enemies here and you have to go up and down the stupid- Oh, right. heck, heck, I hate those guys the worst. Heck, those guys the most. And then you have the stupid flying things around too. Thankfully, you don't have to do it when you're coming back. It sort of, like, skips it for you. Which is very thoughtful of the game. Oh, yeah, heck, that guy too. Where's our lighthouse? I have no idea where I'm going. What the hell? I'm lost and I'm being pursued by monsters. going up these steps too. But we can save here. And we need Alessa. If I had the Channing Link Stone we could use that and, and meet some aliens, but we do not. So and call the aliens. Hmm? Howdy, Alessa. He's like, sup, Harry? And visually, this seems to go back to um, Jodorowsky and the Holy Mountain and such. Some of the, the visuals here and like the overhead view of the triangle and the circle and all those things. And another thing is um, the end of Silent Hill 4 where there, all those bodies are on the... are going around the circle after you jump into the final hole that is directly taken from the Holy Mountain also. Those are like the people in the planets or the, the planet people or whatever. So we skipped some of that. that. That's great too. I, I appreciate that game. Thank you. Yeah. See you later, dead guy. Uh, 
and now I have another chance to get lost. We're out here, there's a churro stand somewhere. Harry is feeling a bit peckish. Uh, churros. Huh. No one's working there this late. Well, may as well go to the, the amusement park and look for Sybil. Maybe there's some snacks there. Meaning to make a butter cakes recipe video. There are butter cakes in the magic ice cream house, at least in Silent Hill 3. There, there's, there are no butter cakes in this game. We'll forgive that, though. Hello, are we? Did I get turned around? Hell and damnation. He really wants those churros. I got some dog churros. Like cinnamon flavored dog churros. Dream bone or something. We'll give the dogs some snacks. You know, uh, birthday snacks. Uh oh, the cover is removed. What happened to Sybil? Not another crappy one of these levels. Forget about this kind of thing. Mm. Oh, sounds like the kettle's going off. Oh, these sound effects. I usually just run by these guys, but I was on a murderous rampage today. Oh, dead guy there. Oh, carousel horses. Telling us where we're going. Hmm. To the amusement park. Hooray! Sounds like a fun place. Party time. Try to use this, the red liquid on the black baby ghosts, the larval stalkers, but sometimes I have difficulty.
They're so cute though. Right, where the hell are we? Now I've run around in a circle. No. A park goer. How do we get to the carousel? Just enjoying some of the rides here. Oh, there's another park guard on there on that ride. Now, where the hell am I? No. No, I don't think that's it. Magic ice creams, you can save there. Where's it at? Near the carousel. Oh, here we are. Merry go round. Let's save first. Last time I killed Sybil. You don't get the good plus ending that way. You have to evade the bullets until she runs out, and then use the red liquid. Or you can restart your save and use the red liquid on the larval stalker. Uh. Oh, shit. Then I'll use another one. video is brought to you by DX energy drink it only moderately heals your wounds you know otherwise you need to use the full medipack medipack and Alessa's wheelchair on the carousel also I always like the um, uh, aquatic looking you know, seahorse type horse that was on carousels. Uh oh, get up Harry. When the music starts that means you have to go find her again. Oh shit. Well, good thing we saved. Oh boy. Hmm. Let's find it. The larval stalker. Where are you at, son? Oh, there he is. Oh, I love him. What do you mean you can't use it here? Where's he at? What in the hell? Bugger. Oh, that magic ice creams. Ah, there's one. Yes. And here's the the aglophilus glitch, which counts as saving Sybil, but. 
Oh, uh, clearly something else is happening. I'm not sure what. And Harry just... <sighs> goes all over the screen. The actual thing that crawls out of Sybil, that refers to, um, what is the movie? I'll get a clip from it when I remember. <laughs> you better take care of yourself, Harry. Something weird is going on. I figured you'd show. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are, what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. He's like... Les is like, heck you, buddy. What? Magic ice creams. Damn. Huh? What is this? I also have a downloadable, um, movable Floros, uh, from Silent Hill Origins on the site. On that note. It didn't have the symbols on it in Silent Hill 1, but it did in Origins. I have two colors, the Origins red and the, uh, part one sort of brown, yellow-brown color. Uh oh what's wrong with Lisa now? And again, she's the... Her outfit is based on the nurse from... Um, Exorcist 3. I used to make the earrings, but... I have the... That's the name tag. Don't have the, any of the earrings around here. Hmm. I feel like I'm being summoned, though. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. I'll take some of those PTV drugs, Harry. That's the Alyssa apparition here. And she's running towards uh, where her room is, sort of behind the Phaleg door. I uh, can't do much in here. Well, we're gonna get the bullets though. The stalkers come in at the end of the level and they're like. The gray children, but they're black and transparent, so they're like really hard to see, and they're tough too, and that really sucks. Okay, we're gonna just get some nurses out of the way here. Hey, 
And I really enjoy the way that um, it just sort of takes little areas from all over the place, you know, like the classroom. And then this was reused in the in the movie also, of course. And it just rearranges them in like a nightmare type scenario in a dreamlike manner. Huh. I was looking for some tools, thanks. And I made a map of this because uh, it kind of makes sense to me. But uh, I'll remember to link that at some point. There's a key in the faucet. Yeah, that's why we have pliers, buddy. I mean, you can't use it here. Reorient himself here. Alright, good. And it is... Key of Ophiel. And that's midway down the hall, I think. That's the antique shop. That one's locked. Okay, Key of Ophiel. I really want to get the, the camera and such. Uh, this is the Lisa room there. We don't have to look at the puzzle because we've played this before. And we know it says alert. There are also PTV boxes in this room on uh, the left hand side. Right, there you go. It's like a TV. Wrong, wrong wrist, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I have one of these too. The Amulet of Solomon. I had some. I just ordered some Star of David. Um, laser cut wood for that. I'll have all of these somewhere. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Lisa? I've been snorting the PTV, Harry. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. Except my cardigan is a different color. And he's like, heck you, Lisa. PTV addict. You have to watch the Lisa scene, anyway. So then Harry gets the hell out of there. But if you directly come right back in, you can read her diary. And she's gone. Yep, there we are. There's a diary on the floor. She needs her PTV dealer. Kaufman. Okay, where's that one go? Okay, that, that goes back out to our main hallway. And then, is this the camera room? No. So the next hallway. Okay, let's 
check all the doors because you don't actually get a map, though I did make a map. Uh, which I think works. Wait, we can do that. Right. Okay. I was thinking we had to go to the antique shop first, and no, this is before we go to the antique shop. So the number of limbs on these also works, so that's what we're gonna do here. And Gemini would have eight. So now we're gonna go to four and get the Stone of Time, which pops out. Oh. Which we can then use in the antique shop room, which also has a save, which is handy. company here. Okay, lock is jammed. That should take us back out to... yes. There's the antique shop. We have to check the clock and put the stone of time in it. And then it busts the glass. How? And then we have to check it to get the key of Haggith, which is the elevator key at the end of the hall, the big double brown doors. But first, let's let's get our prizes in here. There was a um, medi pack, first aid kit. We will take it. May as well save too. Nowhere. So now we can get in the elevator, which sort of, um, let's see where to go. I figure it sort of sends you to different hallways, different sides of a certain hallway. And then there's also the third floor where you use the camera, but we don't have the camera yet. So we have to get that. So if you... If you envision this as, like, warping you to the other side of the hall, it makes sense. Um, without going from one level to the other. Because I don't think it makes sense to think of it as the second floor, because it just sends you to a different hallway. I mean, the one and two send you to other sides of the different hallway. And then the third floor sends you to this Kazanian jewelry. The third floor does send you to the, um, the attic, which is the other world, or the other church, as it were. And we have... We have our other... Crest of Mercury. Have I lost my other thing here? Hold on. I also found a photo of Mary. I thought I'd uh, given them all away. But that's the wrong game. Is this the camera room? Yes. I get some bullets. Those are always useful. The disposable camera. This is what we used when when phones didn't have cameras yet. Okay, two nurses. Both are in. No. Is this. Oh, okay. You have to remember this because it has the Aerotron key and we can unscrew the plate but we can't take the key because the electricity is still running through it. So we have to um, turn the electricity off before we can grab that. 
So we have to make a mental note of where this is. End of the hallway. Pin it. If you go through those pinkish doors, I think. It's like... The, yeah. And that takes you to the regular hallway. So now, what the hell key did we have? No, no, no we, it's not Phaleg. No, what, what do we have here? We need... Okay, we have the camera. So we can go to the third floor. Via the elevator. That's what we want to do now. And then we see another Alessa apparition. At the altar. And I don't have my sheet sheet with me, so I'm gonna have to actually write these down. <laughs> Light to the future. And then we use the camera on it to get our answer. Wonder what they worship. Uh, light and illuminating darkness. And use a camera on that too. And that will give us the other one. The other door solution. And there are the two doors with the three panels on either side here. Have to do those according to uh, these solutions. There's the White Claudia book, I think. There's a place mark in the book. Uh oh, they use them in rituals. The health drink, is that it? Yeah, that's everything in there. Okay. The keys in the other room. Across the hallway. But first, a puzzle. Birdcage key, or ah oh, yes. And then we go back to the regular, the main hallway. We'll call it. The elevator by that door doesn't work. I think it just. That's just to confuse you. It's the birdcage room, which will give us the Phaleg key. Which is the, the final uh, sort of hallway full of rooms. And there's probably those, those things in here. Sockers. I hate those guys. Because you can't see them at all. And like, they're kicking your ass and you can't see them. Okay, this is Alessa's room. Let's see if we have a comparison with Silent Hill 3 there. And you've got our butterflies. And your uniform over there. Also has some dolls and sketchbooks. Cards. And we can't open that door yet. That's the Aerotron key. Can't open that. Uh, uh oh, another Alessa apparition. Oh, we have this too somewhere. Oh, here we go. We have our ank. 
Take it? Yes. Take these bullets. For those stupid stalker guys. Kick my ass. Uh, how about some jelly beans? He is feeling a bit peckish. Which, of course, are based on Jelly Billy. Jelly Beans, which I don't have any right now, sadly. Faithor. Oh, here's our VCR. It's old, but usable. The old folks will remember these. Oh, there's our tape. And it's Lisa. The blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? Hm. So we just see more of Alessa's relationship with Lisa there. We have the the Beethor key. I think this is the electricity or the generator room. So we can turn that off. So we can finally get the Aerotron key in that other hallway. So we're gonna have to run through those pinkish doors in the main hallway. Oh, but first, the Ring of Contract. There's a dagger of Milky Ore. Do you want to take it? And let's save, because we haven't uh, fixed the chain. So let's do the death here. Because the death is a lot of fun. Uh oh, tentacle monster. <laughs> but no, let's reload that now. There's a dagger of milky ore. You want to take it? Not before using the ring of contract. No. Okay. The ring is fixed with the... Or the chain is fixed with the ring. Now we can take the Dagger of Milky Ore, which is a, uh, our um, second to last object that we need. So let's go through the pinkish door to the end of the hallway. Unless there are stalkers there. Oh. They really suck because you can't see them and they kick your ass. Okay. End of the hallway. Well, kick him first. I don't want him coming back. So now we're able to grab the key. Since we've turned off the power. Which is our, um... Next to last, our penultimate locked door. Then there's also the one that, you know, leads to the end. Aerotron. It's to the right here. Opposite Alessa's room. And this just tells us, you know, the, the whole story of them keeping her alive and, and so on. According to the plan. But we have to pick up our disc of Auroros, which is the um, snake eating its own tail. So now we can you know, place these items in there. That use the Amulet of Solomon. The Crest of Mercury. The Ank. The Dagger of Melchior. 
and the Ouroboros disc. And now we can get that cutscene of Dolly and Alessa there. <laughs> Good times. We can check out some more of the art here. Not sure where the first one is. <laughs> There's some strange body with some... sort of box around it. There's also a um, reference to a book called The Box Man, which I bought and didn't read yet. I bought the English translation of that, which was a Japanese novel. So I will try to link that for interested parties. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metatron was being used. Silent Hill 3, and the one Silent, Silent Evil made. It's also a bigger one, but it's it's over there. On the shelf, so I won't get that down. So we have to run around and then you know, try to shoot six shots in between the lightning bolts and we have plenty of health so yeah, it's not really that stressful this time And the Incubus also shows up on Jasper's shirt, which I, I made some shirts of that as well. And some holographic stickers. <laughs> but I mean to play through Silent Hill 2 as well, and go through some of the ref references and story and such, perhaps. And this also goes back to um, Santa Sag Sangre. Is it the the Jodorowsky movie with the um the circus and such? There, there's like a cult, and they had these arms on, on their chest, like severed arms, and then there's like this girl in white robes that goes into this pool of blood. I'll try to get a, a clip of that up. Also, Jodorowsky is a lot of fun anyway. I mean, he, he's wacky as hell, but but fun. I love this area too, just like the grates and, and the fire and such. It, it's it's just well done for the time again. I mean, it looks cool. And since we have the good plus ending, Sybil gets up and then Kaufman tries to, but Lisa takes him back down to hell where he belongs. He's like, wait for me. And Lisa's like, no, heck you, Kaufman. And then Sybil shows up in the intro video instead of Harry's wife, Jody. And she's named in, in the novel version. She's not named in the... in the game. 
No oh, heck. Later, Kaufman. But thanks for watching. <laughs> I have some replicas of things available also in the Etsy, and that keeps Silent Hill community online and um, gives me time to make videos and such. So I'll put links in the description. And if you have any comments or um, on what you'd like to see in the in the future, though I, I plan to play through the games in order again, as well as doing some like recipe videos. Like I, I'm going to try to do a butter cakes recipe video. But this is still my favorite game. Just, just of the Silent Hill games, but also just of all time. And I'm still working on getting Al Camilla Hospital back up the site, which is going to be in a subdomain of SilentHillCommunity.com, which is where the forums are, which used to belong to John, uh, Ratiocinator, but uh, he transferred to me because he didn't have time. So now I, I'm the minute of that, and I'm going to just put all the stuff onto there. And also check out this, this wrapping paper I got, which is vaguely similar to Maria's Maria's skirt. Now this was still better the the eyeshadow palette. I found on Amazon. And playing through the second time, you can get the channeling stone, of course. Also, I'll make some videos whenever news comes up and, and whenever I get things finished with the website and get all that up and running again. But, like, I've lost a lot of the images, so I have to, like, retake screen caps and redo the images and the articles and things, so that's going to take a little bit of time. But, cheers, and, and thanks to uh, the patrons and the people who have commented. And please like and subscribe and all that. So the, the Twitter is now, like, SHC underscore Silent Hill, and then there's the alcamillahospital.net Facebook page that I try to post semi-regularly on now, and there's the Etsy shop, which I will link. And pretty much all the things can be found on southernhillcommunity.com forward slash alcamilla.html or via internetkindness.com, which is my other site that has like all my other channels and things. So I've been doing some playthroughs in Latin on my other YouTube channel, Ancient Rome with Amy among other things. And then um, me and Jamie have the Creepy and Weird podcast at creepyandweirdpodcast.com and on YouTube and Facebook also. But, no, uh, later friends.